coronavirus pandemic in COVID cases in Alabama is spreading across the state. In the last week, one out of every three COVID tests coming back positive. As schools reopen after Christmas vacation, there are some concerns. WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams is joining us live in Baldwin County, where Debbie, the kids head back to class tomorrow. Yeah, and that's certainly a concern for a lot of folks, especially parents. Now, both of the superintendents here in Baldwin County on the same page when it comes to getting the kids back in classroom. Kids return to class tomorrow in Baldwin County, but today teachers were back at work getting things ready. Mask will not be required, but strongly encouraged. Gulf Shore Superintendent Matt Aiken released this statement to News 5 this afternoon that said in part, Please do not send your child to school if they have COVID symptoms. We also strongly encourage everyone to wear masks to school. We are awaiting guidance from the CDC and ADPH concerning isolation requirements for individuals who've been exposed and quarantine requirements for individuals who test positive. And just a couple of hours ago, Superintendent Eddie Tyler with the Baldwin County Public Schools sent an email to parents telling them basically the same thing. Wearing a mask to school and while in class is up to the individual, fully voluntary at this time. He did say all schools have been restocked with masks, hand sanitizers and special cleaners, and they will continue to monitor COVID numbers on every campus. Tyler says the goal is to keep schools open and operating. Now, all of this could change tomorrow. State Health Officer Dr. Scott Harris expected to give a briefing updating the growing COVID numbers as well as those guidelines for quarantine and updating that information. That briefing coming at 11 o'clock tomorrow. You can watch it live on our website, WKRG.com. Live on the Baldwin County Beat, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.